How's it going everybody? Thank you for checking out my video and today I'm going to be going over the newest promoted brand from the barracks. It's called Karayuma. I asked before on the community tab if people liked more of the traditional type of reviews when it comes to having something be prepared and kind of knowing what it is I'm going to talk about ahead of time or just kind of blindly going into the product or the idea and just giving a real genuine first impressions view and a lot of people seem to like that so that's what I'm going to be doing for this type of first impressions kind of review it's not going to be obviously in hand because I don't own any pair of Karayumas I haven't really bought shoes for myself in quite a while but with that said I'm just going to go as blind as possible I did not look at the site ahead of time I did not try to look up the company at all. I'm going to be going through this with you step by step and to just see what it is that makes Karyoma so special and just give an honest review and opinion on what I think of the company. Okay, so starting on Google because I just want to get an idea of what the actual shoe company is and as always ads pop up and show a couple of samples of what the shoes do look like and right off the bat we see exactly what I was talking about earlier it's one of the barracks new promoted brands I do not know if it is something that possibly Steve and Eric have kind of sank some money into or if the brand Karyuma is now paying the barracks x amount of dollars for it being promoted for a prolonged period of time whatever that may be but let's go ahead and check the website right here and see what it is so walk on the bright side Okay, so I mean, that's kind of cool. Extra free in souls. Not sure how good they are, but we'll, you know what? Let's go ahead and just take a look at the Barracks one because that's the very first thing that's promoted. So, right off the bat, I see two things. Uh, one that uh, is just a hell no for me, but uh, we'll go with that to the second. But right off the bat, I actually, I kind of like the silhouette of it. It's very. I don't want to say basic, but it's very much a simplistic looking silhouette. It's got very minimal padding on the collar. It's probably got a very, very uh, thin tongue, very little padding just really around the outside part of it. I like the pull tabs a lot. That's a huge feature that I think goes very much just underappreciated when people are looking at shoes or wanting to design a shoe. I think having extra pull tabs, even if they're just very small and pretty much act as just extra hits for color pop here and there. I think that would be a really good add-on in here. I think that's a great idea. The side paneling is a little busy, but I know it's because just looking at some of the other different ones that have the actual logo right here, this is supposed to, I think, just encompass the logo where the barracks logo is right now. But... Um, this extra side paneling is cool, but it seems kind of just a little out of place. And what I mean by that is it's if this just kind of was one solid piece, I think it would just fit a little bit nicer because this just gives extra area to, to rip. But I mean, overall, just the the look of the shoe, I like. See, this looks nice now from this angle. It's, it kind of goes along with the stitching. It just adds a little bit of an extra hit here and there. But I like just the very simplistic look of the shoe. Right off the bat, it looks like it's a cup sole just because of the stitching on the side. So let's see if we can get, here we go. Here's a sole look of it. Uh, nope, it's not. It is not a cup sole at all. It is actually a Volk. And that is for, I can only imagine, it's not decorative, but it off the, off the bat, it gives a little bit of a cup sole vibe. I mean, even here, just the way that they did the boxing tape, it looks like the uh, shoe would be a cup. But it's not. It's it's a Volk. I mean, and for any of you guys that are questioning, you know, how do I know this or just want to get to know uh, the difference between cup and uh, Volk better, I have a video, I'll link it up above, you guys can watch it, where I kind of go in depth of... Uh, exactly why I know it's a Vulcan issue, but for any of you guys that uh, either want to don't want to watch the full video or just want to only know just very basic uh, difference, right here you can see the white is not the same material as far as it being one solid piece as the outsole right here. And this is because this is a foxing tape, and you can see right here the uh, the little markings where it's indented 
because of the back piece right here where the heel is that leads up to the pull tab. So this sinks in and then the Volk wrap is wrapped around it. So that right off the bat uh, makes it a vulcanized shoe. And again, if you watch that other video, it will talk to you about uh, why Volks can be good, why Volks can be bad, how to tell the difference and all that. But right off the bat, looking at this, I actually like cork insoles if you're wanting to have kind of like lays around shoes. Because if any of you guys are are uh, familiar with how the Janowskis first ran out, I believe they had, it was like a secondary pair of insoles that for certain colorways or like certain exclusive Janowskis that came with a cork insole because Stefan liked to not rock socks and he wanted something that would be able to not only not smell bad, but just be able to fit his foot really well without it sliding around or just causing an issue when he skated. And so they added cork insoles to some of them, kind of like when they used to come with the really square wax laces. And so right off the bat, I like this. I like cork insoles. The only thing is you do not get much uh, support or cushioning with that. So you kind of have to play to the idea of, yes, it will, in a way, if you don't want to rock uh, socks, this will be great for you, but it's it's going to be a trade-off of uh, comfort in a way that you would be only getting with the traditional type of insole made of what's made in the front. You know, you have cork in the back, so it fits a little bit better for without shoes. But um, yeah, right off the bat, I like, I like the look of these. Here's where I said I didn't like is this right here. So $120 for a Barracks collab shoe. And, uh, okay, so there has to be something special about the. Okay, cool. I might have found it. So buy one pair, you plant two trees. This kind of reminds me of a company I used to help out quite a bit. Let me see if I can actually find their Instagram. So this is a company I used to help out here and there. Uh, I used to be their go-to for helping manage the skate contests. And I was asked to be a part of his skate team. And I had to say no to that just because I, I, at that, at the point when I was asked, it was, I was very much trying to get into the skate industry. And it's not that I didn't want to start something small, but the way that his Instagram looked back then, it was not suited towards the kind of marketing that I thought would be able to bring people in. I didn't want to be the face of him having me ride for his company and then all of a sudden everything changed. I wanted it to be simply coming from him. And uh, I mean, the reason I even bring this up is because he has for right here, plant three trees for every one pair of uh pants sold because that was his big thing is he really wanted to make uh pants out of recycled materials and only recycled materials and that was something that he eventually was able to accomplish so i'm, I'm really proud of him for that but um i mean great guy i hope best for him I, I the fact that he's still posting up let me see the the dope show from okay so this is from 31 weeks ago he hasn't posted anything since then so i hope he's still doing good but it was just Yeah, nothing familiar with when I used to be around. So this is, it's been a couple years, but um, I mean, the message is cool. It's very environmentally conscious. And I think that's what uh, Karyuma is supposed to be about. And if I'm pronouncing that wrong, I apologize. But I think maybe that's why it's so expensive. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other stuff just to kind of clarify. So let's shop all. So the OCA low, so um, mm, I don't see that being a, I mean, yeah, it could be a skate shoe. I like this though. This is one thing I really like when it comes to seeing some of these brands that have a huge logo. Like this is an argument I've had with, with friends before is a giant logo, yay or nay. And for some people it's like, okay, it could be a busy logo, but if it's small, that's cool. Or if it's a very basic logo it can be big and still get you know be passable on the side of a shoe without it just looking ridiculous and the reason i bring that up is because for any of you guys that watch christian flores's 
uh, reviews, especially the New Balance stuff, he hates the giant N on the side of the shoe because it's just so obnoxious looking to him. And so that's looking at some of the, uh, what is it, the Katiba Pro or whatever it is. Yeah, Katiba Pro. Yeah, this is just like, because the silhouette of the shoe is very basic, it looks, I, I mean, it's cool because it kind of runs the, the, the same way that the stitching does, but it's just, it's very much just out there. This shoe kind of gets away with it more than the all black does, just because the all black, you can't really see a lot of the detail. I don't know, I'm pointing the screen like you guys can see that, but um, you can't really see much of the detail on the side of the shoe. You just see a, a black silhouette and then just this white symbol, which I'm guessing is a leaf. So I kind of like the very small hit of like the bearish right here. If they were to do something a little bit smaller for their logo or just keep it to more of like a like a pull, like a, not a pull tab, but like a little tab on the side, like here. If it's just like a little tab, that'd be kind of cool. Just keep, this is perfect, that's fine, because it's, it's, you see it if you want to see it, but it's not something super obnoxious. But kind of going back to the uh, OCA Low, this is almost kind of like, why? Because it's so small, like, I don't know why it's there. It, if it was a little bit bigger, it, I feel it'd serve more of a purpose, but being it's so small, unless it's just specifically for just, an aesthetic so I mean this one it looks better just because it stands out a little bit more versus the gray I don't know it just kind of gets lost in the soul just maybe because of the background it just says blends in a little bit but I, I wish it was either a little bit bigger or just taken away because that would actually be kind of a really nice low profile shoe the prices though it's they're a little steep so from me right off the bat, I wouldn't, if I was like a, a bulk shoe wear, I would not be looking at this brand simply because that is way too high of a price tag to be able to have a pair of shoes just to skate in them, just to tear them up. It's the same kind of argument when it came to the LV shoe review that I did, just kind of going over that and why Lucien's name was taken off of it and the videos up there if you want to watch it. But it just seems very steep priced for... A, especially a Volk shoe. I would never buy a Volk shoe more than like 30 to 40 bucks. Nothing more than that. Um, and I've, I've worn plenty of Volk shoes in my in my time skateboarding. And I've actually, one of my favorite ones is the Adidas ZX Volk. I, I felt that was just kind of a very thick Volk shoe and it really felt like a cup to me. So, and I'm, I'm really stoked on that shoe. I wish they still made it. But that was the last pair of Volk shoes that I skated in and absolutely loved them. But yeah, this just, it seems a little bit like why? And this so what is the difference in the IBI? Oh, okay, so it's it's this side paneling right here, or is it? Okay, so this one has it's like a secondary layer, and then this one is it what like it's just minimal. Let me see. Yeah, it just it looks like the same. It looks like the same thing. But I just, I might be just totally wrong about that. So is one one a cup? Is that it? Because that this one's ninety eight bucks. Let's see. Let's where's the soul of it? Yes, this is a cup. This looks to be a cup sole, because. That is definitely the same thing as that. Is, is there a way to, here you go. So yes, this, and again, in that same video, I talk about this particular line right here is pretty much the giveaway for a cupsole shoe. That is a cupsole version of the very first shoe that we looked at. So that's, that's cool. That makes up for the price difference, but still that $98, $100 price range for a cupsole shoe that it doesn't have like, any real impact protection or anything inside of it to really make a stand out just seems a little bit like a no for me. And is this one bulk shoe? Just want to make sure. No, that's a cupsole too. So, I mean, what the, I, I don't know what the difference is then. One of you guys in the comments, please feel free. Let me know what it is. Cause I, I can't tell what it is. And this video is already getting long enough as it is, so I'm not trying to like go into huge detail about it. But um, yeah, this 
I mean, I like that it's kind of more on the simplistic side. So what is, okay, I'm starting to confuse because it's like, is it because there's now a name on it that it's a totally different style of shoe? <laughs> this this stitching kind of just reminds me of Decline for some reason, for Decline or whatever, however you want to pronounce it. But that just seems very much just like, like a Decline shoe. But um, there's about, let's, let's see what they're about. We believe in making things in a way that's better for people and the planet. That's why we designed our sneakers to be sustainable, comfortable, and timeless. Um, working together for a few years and bonding over our mutual love for board sports, skateboarding, surfing, snowboarding, and our home country, Brazil, we decided to join forces and start Kariuma. Um, okay, so right off the bat, I, that's cool that it's a Brazilian company because there's another Brazilian company that I I used to like a lot and especially one particular shoe. Okay, this one's kind of crazy for a lot of people because they just, they either loved the shoe or just hated it. But I liked this shoe a lot. I thought this was really, really cool. And it's because it was, it was so busy, but just so well blended for different stylish shoes. Uh, I'm trying to get it really, good. okay, so here we go. This brand, I'm not even trying to pronounce it because I'm going to butcher it. I loved the look of this shoe because it was very much, in a way, Dylan-esque. And I really liked his design ideas for his shoes. This was, and I know this was a Volk. I still would have bought it. But I like this because it had, if you were to get like the all leather pair, it looked really, really good. And because of the way that the different materials are on here, it really popped all the different paneling because for something like this, I thought it was really, really cool and how they blended everything together. As Again, as busy as it is, it was a great looking shoe, especially on foot. And one thing that really stood out was this uh, internal, it's like a booty system, so it's like a sock liner. You can wear your shoes a little bit loose on the shoelace part and then just still fit. It's kind of like the Nyjah one that everybody was talking about for why it fits so nice is because it was just like wearing a sock. It's cool that they're bringing in Brazilian companies and just outside of the US companies to skateboarding. And this is a huge stretch. You guys might agree. You guys might think I'm absolutely insane for thinking this. I think it would be really cool to see, and I know I'm saying really cool a lot, but I think it would be a good idea if these companies, let's say they blow up, right? Because I mean, you've seen, if you look on Instagram, what caught me off guard was seeing uh, Gustavo Ribeiro wearing Cariumas because he was on DC, gave that up for Nike SB, and then he was seen rocking Cariuma. So either he's getting fat check or they're wanting to try to really build a pro team and they're just giving out shoes to really well-known pros on Instagram, which seems like a really good marketing strategy. But one thing that I would love to see is if these companies make it really big and they start to really gain traction that if they were to bring different designs to the idea of skateboarding it would make it to where other companies would hopefully and obviously nike adidas vans all like the the big top ones that people consider as like the the big dogs in skateboarding the ones that despite the whether you how you feel is you know their core or not they have pretty much no other competition against maybe like their own catalogs and they don't really need other companies influence on making their own shoes they like this like i said they have their own catalog they go into their archives and bring out old models and tweak them a little bit to make new shoes and a lot of other companies that might be smaller and be more core towards skateboarding are having to really try for different types of of uh, footwear design so that way they can stay relevant and be able to make sales. Um, I'll let you guys, if you want to, you can pause it and read it, but people were going in on, on America TM because the designs for certain shoes is very repeated and just very much the same thing, or it's something that is supposed to be a reissue and is now transformed into something it's literally not. And right out the top of the page, you can see this is supposed to be the new tilt but it's vulcanized and it's very much kind of like the Reynolds light where there's so much deco stitching going on that you're not really seeing the paneling that you saw in the original uh, tilt, but I digress. The main thing I would love to see is these brands coming in and if they get big enough, 
even if it's against just the smaller companies, that their designs will hopefully encourage more competition into making different types of designs. The only problem I see with that is certain companies are having to do with play with the idea of making designs that are safe and people will actually buy into versus try new designs because they're trying to just fight to stay in the skateboarding market. And that's what sucks. That's what I hate. But I would love to see something like this, like Kariuma or uh, the other Brazilian company. Again, I don't know how to pronounce this, so I'm not even going to try. But I would love to see them make such an impact eventually that hopefully their designs encourage competition within other designs for shoe brands. So that way we don't just get the same Vans authentic ripoff. We don't get the same half cab ripoff or whatever ripoff you can think of. I think it'd be really cool to see something like how before S went under, maybe like two to three years before S went under, they went and just made so many different types of shoes simply because they just wanted to, even with like the S scale, which is supposed to be the lightest shoe ever made. They made it simply to say they made the lightest shoe and that's how they advertised it. it didn't sell very well, but it was just made to be made. And I thought that was cool. But um, as far as just looking at the brand, I think it's I think it's really cool. I like the simplicity of it. Um, prices, I, being that it comes from Brazil now, it makes sense why they can be so expensive. But um, unfortunately, even if I was in the market of wanting to buy shoes and I really liked Volks, I would not be considering Karyuma only because of the price tag. I do like the simplicity of the shoes. And I think with just making their brand logo a little bit smaller, it could really hit, but that's just me. Um, but hopefully with the barracks, plugging them and really promoting them and having their logo in every single video that comes out as of the last couple of months, hopefully this will gain some traction for them and be able to help them make it within skateboarding. But yeah, that's inside look on Karyuma. First impressions just off of what I see on the website. And um you know, I hope that they do well. I hope the skateboarding market in general just does well and other companies are able to kind of branch out and really get back to creating more shoes that actually stand out instead of just blend in. Enough rant. Just wanted to kind of go over this with you guys and hopefully you learned something from this or just kind of got a different idea of what it is. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this content and want to see more, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified whenever a new video comes out. And if you like this video, please give it a like and share it. And hopefully it helps to grow the audience a little bit more. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.